108. Medical model or moral model? Calcedon Report number 185, January 1981. A law can come to have a radically different content and consequence without a word thereof being changed. All that is needed is a change in the faith which interprets the law. All law is simply an enactment of morality or the procedural principles of a moral system and every moral code is an expression of religion. If the religion of a culture changes, either the law changes or its meaning changes. Both kinds of change are apparent today, both changes in the meaning of existing laws and new laws. The faith behind these changes is humanism. The approach of humanism, as it approaches crime, social disorder or deviant behaviour, is governed by the medical model. Such aberrations as are illegal are regarded not as immoral or sinful, but as a sickness. The problem of criminality thus becomes either a psychiatric or medical problem. We are given endless analyses as to the social causes of theft, rape, murder, alcoholism, drug addiction and more. The medical model constantly increases the number of quote, criminal end quote, or deviant offences. Instead of the limited and fixed number of offences stated in biblical law, the medical model has an ever-expanding number of offences. It becomes a mark of expanding knowledge to identify, catalogue and legislate about these new social offences, sicknesses or diseases. The medical model governs virtually all statist agencies. The state schools promote the medical model and apply it to student counselling. Their teachings on the subject colour the thinking of all their students in varying degrees. Prison psychologists and psychiatrists are very much dedicated to the same faith, as are other public agencies, such as welfare or, quote, human resources, end quote, departments. This medical model is no less pervasive in films, television and fiction, not to mention non-fiction. Newspaper columnists like Anne Landers apply it wholesale. Unhappily, it is also all too common among certain segments of the clergy. The menace of the medical model is its destruction of responsibility. If my criminal behaviour is not a moral fault in me, but a social disease for which a disorderly society is to blame, I am then a victim, not an offender. It is not surprising that, in a generation reared on such a faith, even our criminals write essays indicting society for their crimes. In terms of Christian faith, however, not only is the medical model wrong, but it is in itself evidence of sin. Scripture sets forth the moral model. God's law having been broken, man fell into sin. His problem is not sickness or disease, but sin. His moral or ethical rebellion against God and his law. Man's irresponsibility is not due to an immaturity or to sickness, but to a moral choice. A decision to be his own God and to determine good and evil for himself. Genesis chapter 3 verse 5 The medical model sees the problem as a lack, an imbalance, a disease or sickness or some like problem. The environment of the deviant needs to be made new, not the deviant. The lack must be supplied, that is, love, learning, housing and so on. Only so will the deviant be healed and made new. Of course, instead of healing, we have a subsidy to evil and its proliferation. The moral model, as set forth in Scripture, calls for moral solutions. Regeneration, restitution, chastisement and so on. The individual is held to be responsible and accountable, not sick nor immature. The medical model implicitly calls for the elimination of law 
and all instruments of law enforcement and their replacement by the psychologist, sociologist and their cohorts. The individual at most needs reconditioning in a better environment, not a moral change. The medical model seeks to get the individual to abandon guilt or condemnation in favour of seeing his problem as purely medical. Some have inveighed against implying to any degree that venereal diseases can involve immorality. They must be viewed as a sickness purely. In one clinic, a doctor was regarded as having erred very seriously because he said to a girl in for a venereal disease test, Be good. And Landers tells a girl with a serious moral problem, There are many excellent mental health facilities in your city. I urge you to make an appointment at once. Our laws today are under the influence of the medical model to an extensive degree. As a result, we are in the midst not only of a moral crisis, but a legal crisis. In the medical model, the lawyer and judge must give way to the psychologist and psychiatrist. Lawyers who promote this medical model, and clergymen as well, are furthering this cultural decay and collapse. We need to remember that, for the past generation, pastoral psychology books, almost all of which promote the medical model, have been the most popular reading with the clergy. Is it any wonder that their parishioners spout humanism without knowing it? It must be said that, without a concept of personal responsibility, a culture and civilization will collapse. A moral model is a social necessity and a moral necessity. The deepening decay of our culture has basic to it the medical model. Men find it easier to claim a sickness for which society is held responsible than to affirm a moral model which requires them to confess. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight. Psalm 51 verses 3 and 4.